State media in Russia is reporting that President Putin has visited Mariupol, the Ukrainian city which was captured by invading Russian forces last year. The TASS news agency says he travelled there by helicopter and visited local residents. If confirmed, it would be Mr Putin's first trip to the Ukrainian territory, which has been occupied by Russia since the invasion was launched just over a year ago. We received these pictures, which we understand to be Mr Putin in Mariupol on Saturday evening. He's shown driving around in a car and also visiting what appears to be a children's playground. The visit came at the end of a week when the Russian president was charged by the International Criminal Court with forcible abductions of Ukrainian children. And on Saturday, Mr Putin also visited Crimea, the region which Russia first invaded and then annexed nine years ago. Earlier, I spoke to our diplomatic correspondent James Landell in Kiev and began asking him about the purpose of President Putin's visit. Well, as ever, one should be cautious before trying to get into the brain of Vladimir Putin and to try and interpret his intentions. But I think clearly we can see uh, the timing here. It was only a couple of days ago that Mr Putin was formally declared by, uh, accused by international prosecutors at the International Criminal Court of being an alleged war criminal, uh, accused of uh, breaking international law by deporting children from uh, occupied Ukraine to uh, Russia. So only a few days after those allegations and accusations were made, the first sort of public uh, thing that Mr Putin has chosen to do by way of response is to visit Crimea yesterday and overnight to Mariupol. Mariupol, of course, is a hugely symbolic city in this war. Uh, it was one of the longest early battles in the war last year. It was, uh, you know, an early Russian victory. Uh, from the Ukrainian perspective, it was also a huge symbol of resistance because this city was besieged and held out for three months uh, before it was eventually captured. So an incredibly resonant city and therefore I think the images that we're being shown by Russian state television show Mr Putin visiting areas apparently reconstructed since the devastation. So we see him visiting a floodlit uh, playground for children in a residential area. We see him visiting a rebuilt theatre, a theatre which should be, we should note, was planned to be the location for uh, show trials uh, for some of the captured defenders, uh, the show trials that eventually didn't happen because there was an exchange of prisoners. We also see him in having images, uh, talking to people in the streets in apparently, uh, you know, uh, impromptu conversations, uh, how impromptu remain to be seen, but with supportive citizens thanking uh, Mr. Putin for uh, the reconstruction work that is going on. So, in other words, the images that are being portrayed are of uh, a city being rebuilt, of Mr. Putin touring some of his successes, images that he will want to, I think, send not just to the rest of the world, but also back home. And, of course, are not necessarily reflected, reflective of the wider conflict. Well, no, I mean, the conflict carries on. Uh, there is still very bitter fighting uh, just north uh, of that part of the Donbass on the front lines that aren't moving that much, particularly around cities like uh, um, Bakhmut. Um, but, you know, in the eyes of, uh, you know, from the Russian, the Kremlin perspective, Mariupol is a city that represents some form of success from last year. So uh, that is presumably one of the reasons why the Kremlin might have thought this might be a good place for Mr Putin to visit. I see. And is this, um, do you think, part of a wider uh, choreographed, uh, not exactly diplomatic, but certainly theatrical show of strength in the region? Do you think he will visit elsewhere is what I'm asking? Well, we don't know if he's going to visit um, other locations. Uh, you know, it's entirely possible. We know that um, he's also visited just over the border in Russia, uh, military commanders in Rostov. Um, so clearly he is on something of a regional tour. Uh, we don't know where he is right now. Um, but clearly what he's doing is he's sending a message. Normally, whenever there's, in this war, there's been a pattern. Whenever Russia has suffered some kind of a setback, there tends to be some kind of response. Sometimes it's a military response, perhaps uh, a, a nationwide uh, missile strike across Ukraine. Sometimes it is some form of uh, diplomatic response. Sometimes it is a response that is, is designed to shape public opinion. 
it's more likely to be this latter issue that's taking place here. Vladimir Putin trying to show the world that it's business as usual, that uh, you know parts of Ukraine are still occupied by Russian forces and a process of reconstruction is taking place. That seems to be the image that he wishes to portray. James Landale there.